Right, so we have some more new crisps to try today, and this time we have these Takis. They are dragon sweet chili flavour. So, never had them before. Work my way through the range of Takis whenever I find them, and always like them, I think. The most recent one I had was the volcano flavour, which was a bit of a letdown heat wise. But, uh, yeah, up to the Dragon Sweet Chili now. So price wise, I got these for two pound in Morrison's. And Morrison's have also got the Volcano ones in, but I wouldn't really recommend trying those. But Takis, they're getting a bit more popular in the UK. They've got a new tag on the top, whether they're new or not to the rest of the world, I don't know. But they're new to me for definite. So we're gonna give them a go. Look at the packaging, it's a uh, bioluminescent green and pink dragon holding a tacky in its mouth in between its teeth with flames coming out of it. It is very uh, unusual. It's very... Um, I don't know how to describe it. It's just weird, man. It's cool, but the person who get, got given the contract to design this ba uh, bag of crisps was probably high on something at the time. Never tasted a uh, dragon before either. So sweet chili, dragon sweet chili. So for two pound, I don't know if you can see that, but only the bottom quarter of the bag is full. So we're not getting much in here for the price. But to be fair, the cost of tackies in this country is ridiculous, man. Sometimes you see them on offer in places, but even then, it's it's still, I mean, I've, I think I've done quite well to get these for two quid. It's a little bit of a smaller bag, but you're paying north of three pound every time. And if you're wanting some of the rarer flavors, especially the tackies blue, it's, six quid upwards. I was in a shop not so long back and I saw the new Takis crisps, which are like in a Pringles tube. And they're not, well, I, I didn't buy them, so I didn't open them and inspect them, but I don't think that rolled tortillas, the actual chi chain, um, shaped like potato chips uh, crisps, but they, they cost 7 99 so I never bought them, obviously. And I don't think I would ever buy them at that price, even if I had the money of Bill Gates or Elon Musk, I wouldn't. Well, I might. Someone give us 20 billion or something, test me, resolve, and see if I will. So, as usual with a the tacky, they are very colourful, covered in seasoning. It's coming off on my fingertips already. It's a very unnatural looking flavor I always describe it as, especially the blue ones, they're like cancer on a stick. But these ones are a little bit not more normal looking than usual. They're not neon red or pink or blue. They're quite browny orange. They don't really have a much of a distinctive smell. They don't really smell like sweet chili, but here we go. Well, they definitely taste the sweet chili. And they've got a, cool, a good kick to them. They're not blow your mouth off. It doesn't have as reaching for milk, although I don't have any on standby. I did for the volcano ones, which had no spice. And I didn't bother with these. Other than the flames on the on the tacky, then obviously it says hot like they always do. It, it's not really described as overly spicy, but I'm feeling a bit sweaty on the head. Flavor-wise, you can taste the sweet chili, but it's definitely not um, 
a really strong flavor. The heat of the chili powder is definitely overwhelming any sweet chili seasoning that's down here. I don't even know where to start. It doesn't actually see a, what's given us the heat, other than like the sweet chili seasoning, but that can't account for the heat that I'm experiencing. But you normally find that with tackies, and like I say, it's, it's, it's an unnatural, they're unnatural colors, but normally when you read the ingredients of crisps, you can kind of make out 95% of the ingredients. But when you read this, it's just a bunch of chemicals. Didn't really give you a descriptive answer of what's in there. It's like made in a lab. So, heat-wise, it's up there. It's tolerable, but it's up there. Sweet chili flavouring definitely needs uh, upped because it's getting drowned out, man. Getting drowned out by the uh, by the heat, and I don't think the heat's coming from the sweet chili. It's something else in there, a chemical. <clears throat> but um, overall, flavour-wise, it's quite nice. Like always with the tacky chip. The tortilla chip, it's good. Very nice crunch. Um, and I would uh, definitely recommend you to pick these up ahead of the volcano flavored ones, which were just weak and quite poor. So we'll give these a rating. So for the Takis Dragon Sweet Chili flavor, we'll give these a 81 out of 100.